Good morning, my dear children. Welcome to today's virtual session of 8th Standard History. Let us begin the day with the quote, A door is much smaller compared to the house. A lock is much smaller compared to the door. A key is the smallest of all, but a key can open the entire house. Thus, a small thoughtful solution can solve major problems. So children, it is not necessary that all big things hold solutions for our problems. As a key holds the power to open a big house, similarly many small things hold solutions to our bigger problems. So, a small thoughtful solution can solve major problems. Children, in the previous week, I discussed about the sources of modern Indian history. You came to know in detail about four types of sources, that is material sources, written sources, oral source sources and audiovisual sources of modern Indian history. Today, I would like to explain the next topic that is Europe and India. So children, you should open your textbook, page number 5 and you should listen to me carefully. During the modern period, the various happenings in Europe had its impact on India. Therefore, while studying the period of modern Indian history, we have to study the events happening in Europe during this period. Today, I will discuss about those happenings in Europe which had its impact on India. Children, do you have any idea about Renaissance? Do you know what does it mean? Renaissance means rebirth or revival. The revival of the Greek and Roman traditions in the field of art, architecture, philosophy, etc. In history of Europe, the last phase of medieval period, that is, 13th to 16th century is known as the period of Renaissance. Renaissance means a new growth of activity or interest in something, especially art, literature or music. The Renaissance was a period in European history marking the transition from the Middle Ages to modernity and covering the 15th and 16th centuries. It occurred after the crisis of the late Middle Ages and was associated with great social change. The crisis of the late Middle Ages was a series of events in the 14th and 15th centuries brought of European stability to a halt. Three major crises led to radical changes in all areas of society. Those are demographic collapse, political instabilities 
and religious upheavals. During this period, Reformation, religious reform movement, and geographical discoveries laid the foundation of the modern era. New ideas and values were put forth. Hence, this period is also known as the period or as the age of Renaissance. So children, what is Renaissance? Renaissance means rebirth or revival. A new growth of activity or interest in something, especially art, literature or music. That is Renaissance. In history of Europe, the last phase of medieval period that is 13th to 16th century is known as the period of Renaissance. And mainly in this period, we have the Reformation, religious reform movement and also geographical discoveries. Children, on the screen you can see the picture of Leonardo da Vinci. Do you know who was Leonardo da Vinci? He is recognized as an all-round personality of the period of Renaissance. He was well-versed in different branches of science and art. He had mastery over varied subjects such as sculpture, architecture, mathematics, engineering, music, astronomy, etc. But he became world renowned as a painter. His paintings of Mona Lisa. I think children you have seen the paintings. Most of you have seen the painting Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. Another renowned painting of Leonardo da Vinci. Became immortal. So Leonardo da Vinci, he is recognized as an all-round personality of the period of Renaissance. 